Uh, so today we're going to set up PyCase that camera uh, on the Raspberry Pi. So first we're going to log in. Okay, uh, once we're logged in, we need to do sudo apt uh, dash get update, and that will update the package lists we've got on the Raspberry Pi. So that's done, and now we're going to install the uh, snap camera. So we're going to do sudo apt get install hyphen 3 dash snap dash camera. And we're going to, when asked, we're going to enter yes, uh, enter y for yes. Now that's installed, we're going to enable the SPI and the camera on our Raspberry Pi. So we're going to do sudo and then raspberry, so R A S P I dash config, C O N F I G. And we're going to go down to the fifth option, enable camera. Enter and then write and enable. Then we're going to go down to the eighth option, advanced options, and then in advanced options, go down to the fifth option, SPI, select it, and set it to yes, and OK. Now we're going to uh, hit the right arrow twice, select finish, and we're going to reboot the Pi. So we've rebooted and logged back on, and now we're going to update the service so that uh, Snap Camera starts from starts up from boot. So we're going to do sudo update dash rc dot d snap dash camera defaults. So what we've done is installed Snap Camera and made sure that it starts up from boot. So the great thing about uh, the PyFace control and display is that you don't need um, a HDMI cable, the, uh, micro the USB keyboard or an Ethernet cable to control your Raspberry Pi. So we've got Snap Camera installed and now we're going to power the Raspberry Pi with a uh, mo mobile phone charger battery, like so. Okay, so when it boots up, we'll see the uh, the version number come up for Snap Camera, and then it will boot into the network mode uh, of Snap Camera. So when we boot up Snap Camera, we can see it's gone into the network mode. It currently says error because we've not got an Ethernet cable connected. Uh, you can see at the top here that it says uh, the number of pictures taken and the number of pictures uh, that we can still take got the viewer mode so you can view the pictures you've taken, uh, the effects, uh, an overlay mode. This is the camera mode uh, so if you see we press the rocker button in and it will take a picture. We've got the red light on the camera and the waiting symbol on the snap camera and it's taken a picture. You can see the number of pictures taken is incremented and the number left has decremented. This is the time-lapse mode that you saw us do uh, some nice videos of, uh, so it's pretty easy to use. This is the period uh, that the time-lapse will take over, uh, so we want to set that to days, and we want to set it to two days, and then we can set the interval between each picture. So we set that to hours, and we're going to set that to three hours and then to take the time lapse we just press the rocket button in and it's taking the time lapse so it'll take a picture every three hours uh, over the course of two days and so that's showing you how easy it is to set up a time lapse with snap camera just in a few simple steps